I'm going to lose money if I don't re-enter my bank details. That's mad. Dad, it's me. Just dropped a parcel at the post office. Oh, what's wrong? But I've just been informed by my bank, right? That I've made this huge withdrawal. And I know I haven't, but they say there's nothing they can do. Was it a cash withdrawal? Do you know if your card was used at all? No, no. Really. Hasn't fallen into the wrong hands? Uh, no, no, my card looks right here. Oh. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't from your bank, Dad. Oh. Hang on, I'll call Georgia, she'll know. Right, yeah, hello? Hello, Georgia? Hello? Georgia, yes, it's me. Right, I'm sorry, but this sounds like a scam. You didn't give them your details, did you? Uh. I thought it was, I thought it was my bank. I didn't think anything of the email. I, oh, I don't really understand it. I, I know you showed it to me, but I... It's very unlikely that my granddad would get his money back in, if he was scammed through cybercrime. It's crucial that people are made aware of what to look out for in the signs of a scam. No matter what bank you are with, they will not ask for your PIN number, your passwords, your pin secretary codes, or your mobile pin secretary codes. So please, don't give these details away.